Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Loretta and uh, my tarot name is Mother's Tarot. And I am going to be doing a reading. It's a three pile pick. So you pick one pile that resonates with you. And um, then I will read. There is four cards in each pile. And it is for the week upcoming. So it's a week in review. And we are coming up. Uh, so we'll say this from the 12th to the 18th. Monday through Sunday. Yeah. Okay. In our first pile, we have a tourmaline. I don't have a big selection of stones, but... I do have a tourmaline. I know my my camera is not very good, but this is beautiful, shiny, black, raw cut tourmaline. It's very beautiful. And the second pile, I have a clear quartz crystal wand, also very beautiful. And my third pile here, is a labradorite. It has got greens and blues and grays and it shimmers, although my camera, it's not very good. See, see the, maybe you can see a little bit, there's a little gold coming through. Yeah, one of the sides shimmers better. It's real pretty. I have, the, my, my ring is a labradorite. And this one here, there you go. That is a tourmaline. So the tourmaline creates a shield around a person and uh, it prevents negative energies. And the labradorite is a highly intuitive and mystical stone, gemstone. And of course, you probably know about the quartz crystal. It is, let's see, the most powerful healing stone of the mineral kingdom. So it's pretty good. So I'm going to turn it down like this. So you can see and decide which one resonates with you. Just take a moment. Oh, I got that down like that. There you go. There you go. Okay. I'm sorry I don't have the best equipment. We do what we can. All right. And thank you for being here. Okay. I'm going to set this side here. Get this all straight now. Okay. And we start with the tourmaline pile. Pile number one. And Let's see. Let me put it down here like this for a minute. If this turns out well, I'll publish it. <laughs> okay, this is your tour tourmaline. I'll put it right there. It's very pretty. I've got a bigger one. I'll uh, I keep on my desk right here. Okay. We can review. We've got, oh, and this is the Tarot of the 78 Doors. I just got this deck, and I just, I think it is just really so cool. All right. So we've got the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to, do I need to do this like this with me? Probably not. You want to look at the cards? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is my first time doing this, so I'm going to try to get better at this. So hang in there with me here. Can I get it? I see that one goes this way. There we go. Get you all in the picture there. There we go. 
There we go. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands. And I'm a novice reader, so I'm going to be referring to my crib notes and uh, my intuition will lead me. The Eight of Wands. This is a very cool deck. I just love this one. I think the original language on it is uh, Italian. It has English, Italian. I'm not sure if Greek's on here, but there's two other languages on it. And it's a really neat. Okay. So, the Eight of Wands. That's a Mercury and Sagittarius energy. It's a swift moving energy. Fast and sudden. There's hope. It indicates that there's a message coming to you. Hmm. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles. This is Saturn and Capricorn energy. Very nice. Something you've waited for comes through. It's slow, contemplation, responsible, and protective. And in this card, there he's got a, the masculine energy here has got a gift, which is the message, and then that's feminine energy over there by the building, a woman. So you know if this will resonate with you or not. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. There we go. Nine of Swords. Let me see. The swords, of course, is um, an active sign. It's about truth and justice. And the nine of swords. <laughs> the nine of swords. Now, this character here, it's a masculine energy. And... It is in a crouching position, protective. He's holding his knees there. There's a couple of crows. The door is open. The door is open, but he's in this cage, this bird cage with the door open. He doesn't have a real distressed look on his face. He's just earnestly waiting earnestly waiting and what I have on the nine of swords this is one of those cards I liked how one reader put it the reader said you can be the bug or you can be the windshield which <laughs> I really thought that was uh, I thought that was kind of cool it's a card of despair and regret fear worry but the trick is Seeing the matter clearly releases you from it. And this too shall pass. You just have to remember. This too shall pass. Whatever this is that has got you crouching in that position, contemplating. Um, there's going to be another move. And then we have the three of wands coming up. Now in this deck, it looks like a tower. But... You know, it's intact. It's not falling apart or nothing. Beautiful card. In fact, the, the man at the bottom of the tower is holding up a flame in each hand. And then there's a flame near him on the ground. So representative of the wands. And that flame on the ground is also right in front of the door. 
Okay. Let's see what's three of wands. Three of wands calls, calls for more foresight, more planning to keep moving forward. Ambition, enterprise, and, and commerce. So you've got So you've got a message is coming, you know, it, in the eight of wands, it tells us the message is coming. The Knight of pentacles, the message is arriving. Then there's a, a pause and uh, reflection, I would say, you could, contemplation at the very least about your next step. And then the three of wands indicates and lets you know that you need to, there's a little bit more planning to be done. This is why you've got these, he's crouched down here. He's thinking about all this because he's at the number nine. You're almost at the point of completion, but yet it looks like whatever message is coming in, um, you're going to take a pause and you're going to, you're going to marinate in this. I like to use the word marinate. And then you will make a plan based on this message that you have received. So that's what I have for pile number one. Very good. Very good. Pile number one. That's what I had for you. Now, pile number two, we've got... There we go. I should have done that earlier with the other one. Okay. The crystal wand. Crystal quartz wand. Okay. Card number one. Let's see. If I get everything in here just right. We've got the Ace of Swords. Next, we have the King of Pentacles. Next, we have the Queen of Chalices, Cups. And then we end with the Star card. Oh, these are nice cards. These are very nice cards. Okay. The Ace of Swords. Now, the, the Aces often represent struggle and animosity. Um, and it allows us to cut through the confusion. Yeah. Justice and law. Now, the Ace... It's representative of, uh, representative of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. It signifies victory and triumph over difficulties, new opportunities, great power, divine strength, and clarity. Divine strength and clarity. That is your ace right there. Now comes the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is represented by Jupiter and Taurus. Salt of the earth type dogmatic provider. Grounded security intelligence. I'd say this would represent a mature, well, it's a king, so it's going to be a um, very mature masculine energy. Then we have the queen of chalice, which is the queen of cups. 
and your cups are about emotions and relationships, connections. Queen of Cups, represented by Neptune and Libra. And this woman is honest, fair, intelligent, focused, psychic, a healing force. She's also detached and distant. So you've got a mature masculine energy and a mature feminine energy. And that is a uh, child crouching down in front of her, looking for guidance. And finally, we have a major arcana, the star card. Now, the star, let's see, we've got the, it's the number 17. Star card represented by Uranus and Aquarius. There you go. It represents gifts of the spirit, hope, rejuvenation, calm after the storm, renewal, renewed peace, leaving behind what no longer serves you. So what I'm seeing here is you've got a new beginning happening. And it involves a mature man and woman, possibly a couple. You've got both a king and a queen here. The king of pentacles. Now, pentacles, that's your, our everyday needs, the pentacles are. And the cups is emotional connections and relationship and love. Both these signs are passive, gentle. And then we have the star card. So it would appear that there's some type of new beginning coming in. With the counsel of a mature couple. I believe they will counsel you, whoever this is for. This isn't for everybody, but somebody out there. They're, you'll be counseled in leaving behind, leaving behind what no longer serves you. And I feel that this uh, mature, this mature couple is going to help you get there, you know, get to that place within your spirit. So that's what I have for pile number two. Okay. Pile number three. If you chose the Labradite, the Labradite is a highly intuitive and mystical gemstone. That's what I have on this ring. I love it. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Two. Three. Make sure I got you all in the picture here. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll get the hang of this. It's a new world for me. I'm just following spirit. Let your soul, let your soul guide you and you will never go wrong. Okay, here we go. 
card number one. We have, this is the card of the sun in this deck. I'm sorry that the picture's not better. Card number two. Oh, the Hierophant. So we've got two major arcana right off the bat. Card number three. The Seven of Pentacles. Card number four. The Wheel. The ones who chose this pile, you have three major arcana. Wow. Okay. Now the sun here, this is divine masculine energy representing success and triumphs, prosperity, hope, inspiration, happiness, contentment. Yeah. And the Hierophant The Hierophant, Venus and Tara, Taurus is in the planets and the houses of this. It represents, it refers to large institutions, government, religion, authority, education. It's about recourse. It uh, indicates it's difficult to implement change. So we have got the sun. So there's already been some kind of, or if there's not, there's some kind of divine masculine energy shown up first. Your Hierophant. Change is difficult with the Hierophant. Well, you know, you go to the any government office or it's big institution type thing. And, and you know, it's, it's a slow grind to change something. Now, the, then we've got the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is represented by Saturn and Taurus. This is reaping your harvest. Assessment of financial health and reward. Nurturing. So difficult choices. Reaping your harvest. And then we top that all off with the wheel. Now this represents the end of a major cycle in your life. The accomplishment of a goal. Assurance of success, completion, achievement. Possible travel with this. But with that being said, the sun, if I remember right, It's also a possibility. What have we got here? We got 19 on here. Yeah. Possible travel. Could be a possible pregnancy is one of the possibilities. So. But you got triumph, prosperity. Slow change.
Oh yeah. Try and get this. Yeah. Nurturing and big change. So this isn't going to speak to everybody, but it will speak to somebody. You've got renewed peace, leaving behind what no longer serves you. Difficult change. Nurturing, reaping your harvest. Assessment of financial health and rewards. The end of a major cycle and the accomplishment of a goal. Assurance of success, completion, and achievement. Possible travel. If you chose the Labradite, that's what I've got for you. Thank you. Thank you. If you made it to the end of this, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, give me a try. Or at least a thumbs up. Check in every once in a while. I've got different things coming out all the time. Maybe not all the time, but I got three or four things coming on, going on on my channel. So I thank you very much for being here. I, I hope you got something out of it and found it beneficial. I wish you all happiness and blessings and love and light. And this is September 10th, 2022. And this reading is for September 12th, 